Hi, I am Vishal Prabhu Khanulkar. Let us talk about a set of institutions in our economy which help financial markets in various ways. They are called NBFCs, Non-Banking Financial Companies. Functionally, NBFCs perform similar kind of function as banks. So they lend out money, they accept deposits, they charge interest, they provide financing and so on and so forth. Then what is the difference between a traditional bank and a NBFC? So the first major difference between NBFC and a traditional bank is NBFCs cannot accept demand deposits. The second difference is NBFCs also cannot deal with things like controlling uh, operations, controlling financial operations. For example, they can't issue checks of their own. Apart from these two differences, NBFCs for, perform all the functions performed by banks. NBFCs are also mandatory to be registered with RBI. So every NBFC which wants to accept public deposits has to be registered with RBI. Now when NBFCs are registered with RBI, RBI used to categorize them into four types of companies. First, equipment leasing companies. These are the non-banking financial co companies which are specialized in leasing out equipments. This especially becomes useful when, when a project, huge project, infrastructure project is getting executed. The equipment related to that or equipment required for that is very specialized and most of the times many companies do not want to buy them they would rather lease it out so these companies are into the specialized business of providing these equipments on a lease second type of companies are higher purchase companies so these companies provide financial support for higher purchase kind of transactions for corporations. Third and fourth are a very specific functions of a traditional bank which are loan company and investment company. As the name suggests, loan company is a NBFC which, pro which specializes in, in giving loans. So handling loans or financial aspects of loans. An investment company is a company which handles the financial aspects of investments. Recently, however, RBI has recategorized all these companies into three types of companies. First is asset financing companies. These companies deal with monetary transactions associated with financing assets. Second is an investment company, which is, as I said, deals with financing aspects of investments. Investment related to a investment in a project, investment in a company, investment in corporates, all those things. And the third type is loan company. So basically the first two types of NBFCs have been combined into a, new, a common type called asset financing company. Before we conclude the discussion on NBFCs, let us make a note of two very important points about NBFCs. One, not all NBFCs can accept public deposits. You need to be registered with RBI for that specific purpose to accept deposits. And the second thing equally important is st starting last couple of years, NBFCs cannot accept deposits from NRIs as well.